So the best Nike Air Max 97 colorway has returned. So today's video, we have the Air Max 97 in the colorway Silver Bullet. Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Olivia, I hope you guys are all doing well. Today's video, we have the Nike Air Max 97 in the colorway Silver Bullet. When these came out five years ago, back in 2017, I was so gutted that I didn't get my hands on these. So for these to re-release, I was so happy to be able to pick up this pair. So today's video, we are going to do a review. So as usual, starting off with boxing. I haven't seen this box in such a long time. So we have the Nike like swoosh here on the top and then as you can see we kind of have these red orangey sides and then at the back we have this little kind of sentence about athletes and engineering so here we have the Nike Air Max 97 in the colorway Silver Bullet. The Air Max 97 has got to be one of the greatest silhouettes, one of the most popular silhouettes as well. And for me, this colorway definitely stands out completely to all the rest of them. The design on the shoe is actually based on water ripples. And as for the colorway, I've actually read an article recently which kind of contradicts what I have known before. So a lot of people believe this was inspired by the Japanese bullet train and obviously the name of the shoe, the name of the colorway makes sense however i have actually read that it was inspired by mid 90s mountain bikes the metal on metal finishes so let's go into the further details of this shoe so just like the original we have a blend of mesh leather and the most important part for me and my favorite part is the reflective elements we have all this 3m piping that wraps around the upper the air window and you know forms the midsole on this air max 97 we have the silver laces with the loopholes inside of the shoe as you will see, we do have a black sock lining and also a black insole with a silver swoosh. Towards the back of the shoe, we have an Air Max label and I absolutely love, again, this is in this kind of silver glitter embroidery. Another really cool feature of the shoe is that we do have full length visible air units as well. If we move towards the sole, we have this black, white and red, a lot of treading as well, which is gonna be amazing for grip. Also love that kind of silver and red Nike swoosh here in the middle. For me, this 3M combines with this kind of silver glittery leather just makes the shoe absolutely outstanding and stands out completely from all the other colorways. To be honest with you, I was actually kind of shocked by the price of these. These came in £165, $180. But at the same time, I can't be surprised because all of Nike's shoes, not even shoes, everything in general is just rising because of inflation. So for sizing, I went true to size. So I got my normal size, which is size seven and they fit perfectly. I tend to have quite, you know, average feet but I would say more narrow than wide. And one thing to note about these shoes is that they are very, very narrow. I feel like they're also very, very sturdy. So there's not kind of a lot of room for flexibility. So if you do have wider feet, I would recommend going up at least a 0.5 size um, because I feel like, especially around the forefront of the shoe, it kind of tightens. spoken about the price earlier I must admit that because they are quite sturdy shoes I feel like these will last you a long time and you won't get you know too much wear and tear out of them which is amazing if you are going to be paying 165 pounds a great thing about these is that they are sitting for retail on a lot of websites I do think though that once they are sold they are not going to keep restocking them this isn't a shoe that you're going to keep seeing I feel like once they're sold they are going to be gone so if you are trying to cop a pair then make sure you cop them as soon as possible thank you guys so much for watching today's video let me know in the comments below whether you managed to pick a pet up and how do they compare to the 2017 model if anyone has them if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video